did the, the Volcom Pinkus Punk Party, back then, people would hear like an amp being plugged in and they would literally start fighting people. On stage, you never know, we, we would bring out a wiffle bat and Mark would beat the crap out of the band. Murph would go to the front of the stage, Rodney would like maybe cruise back behind his amp and I'm stuck there playing drums. Mark used that as a sort of a, a canvas to go out into the crowd and go climb on shit. There was always sort of a little bit of a unpredictability to the shows. A Vulcan was about youth against establishment. It was in the title. And every shrinking show we played, it wasn't even about music, man. We didn't know chords. No! We came to have a spectacle. I look back at the footage now. I'm hanging off the rafters, my shirt off, no tattoos. I didn't know what I was doing. It was almost more like performance art. Welcome in the uh, Shrinky Dinks. I think just when we started, there was a similar energy that we both had. just sort of learning our instruments as we went too. But really, it was just all in the name of rock and roll. did the, the Volcom Pinkus Punk Party, and uh, one of the greater sort of memories, or sort of non-memories, if I, I remember about the first half and then I blacked out. The pink is punk party. It was just a giant, rowdy, drunken bash. I'm looking forward to doing that again. I mean, there were so many great memories. There's a lot more to be had, you know. And I'm just so honored and happy that the shrink takes were a small part of Volcom's history, you know. Back at the Tiki, pink is punk is back, and just to relive this night one more time, 20 years later. I can't thank you guys enough, Volcom, man, for all your support. I love you guys, man. Let's do it. Sound check. <laughs>